Right, I'm going to make P the subject of the formula, meaning P is going to be by itself on one side of the equals of the equal symbol. Right, what you don't want to do is get rid of divide by R at this stage, because to do that, you'd end up times it by R, which will also infect the S as well. So the be best thing to do is get rid of the plus S minus S. What have you on this side? Do on the other side. That leaves you with Q minus S. S take away S, they knock each other out, they cancel out, you're left with P divided by R. Now, to get rid of divide by R, times by R. Do the same on the other side. That will times everything by R. That's why I put brackets around it. Divide by R is cancelled out by times by R. You're left with P. P is now the subject of the formula. Now we're going to make uh, we're going to make T the subject of the formula. Right. Do not get rid of the divide by three right now. Uh, to do that, you'd have to times by three and that will affect the two A. So what you're gonna do now to get rid of minus two A plus two A. What have we done this side? Do on the other side. That's what you, what you got on the left hand side. Uh, the minus two A is not uh, it's cancelled out by two A. You're left with T over three. T divided by 3 to get rid of divide by 3 times by 3. What do we do on this side? Do it on the other side. Right, times everything by 3. Times in everything by 3. That leaves you with just T by itself. T is the subject of the formula.